there, I'm Craig, Craig Stevenson, the President and CEO of Centennial College. And I'm here with Ariana from the Avionics Maintenance Aviation Technician Program, who like most of our students and colleagues who are now entering campus, is already fully vaccinated. Wow, I'm glad I'm here. I didn't realize how many students are already fully vaccinated. It's great news. It really is, Ariana, because it now means we can welcome far more people back onto campus whilst keeping everybody safe. It really is important that we maintain that high percentage rate by permitting exemptions to full vaccination only to those who cannot be vaccinated based on medical or on creed religious grounds, which is all spelt out in our immunisation policy and procedures. So let me break it down. There are just three steps you need to enter campus. Step one, download our Safety Watch app. Download the Centennial College Safety Watch app onto your phone. You'll use it to complete and show that you pass the required daily COVID-19 pre-screening assessment. And if vaccinated, you'll use the app to upload your vaccination receipt that confirms that you're fully vaccinated. And don't worry if you haven't got a phone, you can also do it online. For step two, you'll need to complete a pre-screening assessment using our campus safety app every time you come onto campus. And if all's well, you'll receive a green QR code. And if not, a red QR code will show with instructions requiring you to temporarily stay away from campus. And for those without a phone, you can complete a form at the entry doors of the school. And Craig, please remind me, what is the last and most important step? Step three is tapping your My Card when you enter the college. Alternatively, you can show on your smartphone or a printout from the web the green QR code that indicates that you're fully vaccinated. The only exception is for those who have an approved exemption. These individuals will receive a blue QR code after uploading to the Campus Safety Watch app a photo showing a negative rapid antigen test that has been completed within the past 48 hours. And am I right in thinking, Craig, that we still have to wear masks on campus? Absolutely, Ariana. And we need to follow, at all times, the health and safety guidelines that are posted throughout the campus. And what about the air I'm breathing on campus, Craig? Is that fresh? Good question, Ariana. The Centennial HVAC systems have had their control systems modified to COVID-19 mode, optimizing them to provide as much fresh air as possible. Wow, there's a lot I need to know. There is, but trust me, once you've been on campus, you will get the swing of it. And at the end of the day, the most important thing to note, as Arthur Slutsky, a GTA pandemic specialist put it, vaccinations are the key. Vaccinate, vaccinate, vaccinate. It's our best and only way to be together again. Thanks so much for being with us today, Ariana, and I really wish you all the very best with the remainder of your semester and your studies with us.